Okay, so we're going to look at delivering a presentation. Uh, you've been working on presentations now for quite a while. Um, and now we need to actually look at, you know, delivering the final product. So some of the areas we'll need to consider are uh, rehearsing the presentation, and that might be a time when you add in transitions, you know, to add effects. Using scripts and presenter notes, delivering a presentation to an audience, delivering a presentation remotely, and evaluating your own presentation and presentations made by peers. So let's look a little bit now at rehearsing, um, preparing for a presentation. Um, normally you start off with a silent run through. So it's, you know, sitting down in front of the screen, you have the presentation, you go through it slide by slide and run through in your own head what it is that you're going to be saying for each slide. And while you're doing that, it can be a good time to think about, you know, well, maybe this is a point where I want to add in a transition to just, you know, grab people's attention. And it can be helpful as well to write speaker notes so that, you know, you don't lose your way in the presentation. You don't suddenly have a slide. You think, what was I going to be saying here? But uh, it can be useful to have that prop of speaker notes. And lastly, actually rehearse the presentation. So let's get up in your hind feet and talk through and give the presentation. When evaluating a presentation, either your own or somebody else's, there's a number of things you might, or a number of questions you might ask, and they would include, did the presentation achieve its aims? Were the slides well designed? Did the presentation make a visual impact? Did the presentation follow a logical order? Was the media included in the presentation? I don't know if that makes sense. Was the content delivered successfully? When delivering a presentation remotely, the same kind of considerations apply, but uh, there's some things you need to think about. Uh, so presenting remotely involves using some sort of web-based service which will let the user log in and see the slides as you control them. You can speak to your audience via a telephone conference call. That's one way. Um, there's other ones as well. Uh, this video conference software that will help you to do this kind of stuff. So an example of one is Illuminate. Uh, another one might be Flash Meeting, or indeed you could use a Google presentation uh, where you can share the presentation out and multiple people can see you presenting uh, at the same time. So, final preparations and delivery, this is what we want you to start thinking about now. Um, so, open up the presentation that you've been working on for the last number of weeks. Uh, add presenter notes to the presentation. I'll show you how to do that shortly. Either print off the notes or set up the presentation to display the notes. I think we'll just display them. Uh, we don't need to be printing off lots of sheets unnecessarily. Uh, carry out your final rehearsals. Deliver your presentation. I think we might look at recording some of them and then evaluate your presentation. Uh, it's a useful exercise. It can be a bit painful actually, you know, recognize that uh, you know messed up on that area. This is a bit I need to change, uh, but it will considerably improve the quality of the presentation at the end of the day.